<sighs> hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. What do you think of my mask? <laughs> Isn't this cute? I got it on Etsy. Very excited about it. Uh, I'm at the post office and uh, or at the airport going to the post office uh, to pick up a package that I should have been able to pick up last week. But, whatever. Uh, I did shave. I kept my mustache. I'm going to keep the suspense for a little bit only because my face is all broken out around the side and it looks bad. So I'll show it to you later. All right, guys. Boo. What do you think? Yeah, I know. There's a couple things you're thinking at the same time. Steven, where's your chin? You don't have a chin. Steven, why is your face all red? Steven, what happened to your jawline? It looks like, uh, I don't know, silly putty? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things going on right now. Hi. All right, so I wasn't going to show you what my face looks like when it's like this. This is, see these little spots here um, all around? This is what my skin looks like if I don't aggressively maintain it. Now, if you look back, and I'll try to remember to put a link in the description box below. I'll try to put a link down there. Um, I filmed a skincare video of what I do with my skincare regimen, and it included a new face wash that I really still love by, uh, by, uh, by Teeny. Uh, but I did a, a skincare regimen video, uh, and uh, to some people it seemed kind of aggressive in terms of exfoliation and, and scrubbing and cleansing, and I was a little aggressive in it. Uh, but this is what happens if I don't. Notice the difference between here, there, up oh, real close, and there. That's There's a, a definite line where my beard was. I couldn't get to exfoliate as much as I need to to have good skin. So this is what my skin would look like. No joke. From about here down. What is going on, buddy? He's hissing a lot lately, but this is what my face would look like from here down between my brows, in my eyebrow, even up into my forehead if I didn't scrub and cleanse as, and, uh, and use um, my clarifying lotion by Clinique. If I did not do that, this is what most of my face would look like. Sexy, right? So... I shaved my beard and I gave myself, a, a, I think, a little trim mustache. I don't think it looks like a porn stash, but I don't look like porn material anyway. But um, I gave myself a little mustache because I really don't like my upper lip. I really don't have much of an upper lip. Um, since I had my teeth done, to those people who did not see it, I think there's only like 300 people who watched that video. But these are all dentures. I know, I know. They look like mine because they are. I paid for them. Um, I, when I got them, it really changed the structure of my uh, mouth, especially my, my upper lip, just in terms of how the, the structure is there. Uh, so I don't like what it did to my already thin upper lip. So I'm going to keep the, um, yeah, see? Yeah, they're, they're fake. Um, I'm going to keep the mustache, I think. But I got rid of the beard because I wanted my uh, mask when I go back to work uh, in June to fit securely and snugly. Uh, I have 10 of those Chinese NKKN95 uh, masks. So they're not the American ones, but they're from China. And I'm going to wear those under my regular face coverings, my other masks, just to kind of give myself a little extra protection, you know, it can't hurt. So <clears throat> I was going to cover, I keep talking about my face. I was going to put, um, my friend Marcus is texting me while I'm trying to film. Um, I was going to conceal this and put some moisturizer and foundation on it because uh, it, it clearly does not look good. But I figure I wouldn't mind after showing you what I look like in reality if I don't treat my skin as aggressively as I usually do. So those people who think sometimes that this kind of stuff is sensitivity, mm, I don't know. Um, I haven't been to a, a dermatologist in 
I don't know, 30 years, 40 years. <laughs> and uh, the one I did talk to decades ago told me that I had separate dermatitis, uh, and that's what this is. I don't know if that, that's the truth or not, but this is what I look like. So what I'm, <clears throat> what I'm doing now is I'm using my little Ikea knife, and I'm, I'm unboxing a package that I got from Tracy. Tracy. Girl, you are too, too, too generous. I don't even know what's in the box, but I see what you paid for postage, and that is a lot. So, um, I love you, though. <laughs> so, I figured I'd do a little unboxing. I had two boxes. Uh, I got one from Tracy and one from Amy. Um, and I was expecting the box from Amy. I did not expect the box from Tracy. And it's a good size box, but it's not big enough for the cats to sleep in. Although Eleanor will get in here. She'll, she'll climb in this box before she rips it apart piece by piece by piece at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Missy. Um, Stephen, my friend, please open after the box. I meant to put the card in at the bottom, but I got excited about wrapping and I forgot. Okay. Now, I... Oh my God, Tracy! Oh, I'm sorry to squeal. I'm squealing right now. I am so, look, look. Look, be, what does that say? It says be, be effing nice. Can you read that guys? <laughs> I love it. Uh, Tracy clearly knows that my company, we, we wear black and yellow. Uh, we are call each other sort of bees. Uh, when you're new in my company, you're a new bee. Not a new bee like a computer new bee, but a new bee, you know. Oh my God. Now I wonder, I might try to wear this at work. <laughs> if it's a late night flight. I don't know if most people would read the, um, the middle word there. Uh, and there are ties on it, which are doubly cool um, because I can tie it around my head. Um, I ha got a mask from Etsy uh, that I can't wear because um, it's so small. It's tiny. It like literally pulls my ears forward. So I'm going to have to give it to a, a girl at work. Oh my gosh. Look at the, and look at the fabric on this side. Look, can you read it? Isn't that hysterical? Oh this just made the whole pack. I don't even care what's inside the rest of the box. This is so unbelievable. I don't know if I'll show it to you now or if I'll show it to you before this part of the clip, but I got another mask on Etsy that uh, is hysterical. And I think you'll see that at some point in this video. Either you've already seen it or you will see it in a minute, depending on when I put it in here. Oh my God, Tracy! What the heck is, what is that? What is this? A one quart capacity travel kettle. Hot water in minutes, travel convenience. Look at this. I don't, let's do a quick unboxing, right, shall we? This is, you know, I meant this to be a quick, 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 like, hey, I'm going <clears> to <throat> go to the post office and then I might hit Walmart. This wasn't going to be a whole unboxing video, but looks like it's going to be. Oh, sorry. Um, travel kettle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Got a little handle. A little locking handle. It's, I, I will have to explore this later, but it looks like this is, it comes out <clears throat> to heat up, which I can use in my hotel rooms. Tracy, this is the coolest thing. 
and it's so small it'll fit in my bag. So I'll do it when I travel next, when I go on a, a layover, I'll take this with me and show you guys what it, what it does. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Eleanor is going to freak out over all this paper. She's going to love it and I'm going to have to take it from her. Uh, does she look at me when I tell you, when I say her name? Oh, she's already into the... She loves packaging. She loves paper. Here. Here. Go for it. Sniffing. <laughs> this is like a Christmas stocking. That's what it feels like. Look at the cat socks. Oh. Oh my gosh. Again, they're dark enough where I think I could probably get away with wearing these at work. Don't tell my coworkers because it wouldn't be compliant. I, I'm only supposed to wear black socks, but those are adorable. And they look big, which is good because I, I have a size 12 foot. That means I wear big shoes, girls. Uh, there's so much stuff in here. I, I, I can't imagine what's in the card. Hot compress, uh, hot cold eye compresses. So I can put those in the fridge or I can keep them in my lunch bag during a course of a trip. And when I get out of my clothes after I've said hi to you guys on my, on my little vlog, I can just take these out of my lunch bag, already cold, throw them on my eyes and lay down. Yay. Oh my gosh. This is like my birthday this is better than my birth what is this tracy you really you gotta stop <laughs> tracy i'll try this it's a clip-on ring light because you know i use my phone to to film um and i have this lighting set up here in my uh my my uh apartment i only use one light because i don't you don't need to see me flood lit not this face uh, but I might be able to use this in my hotel rooms or I don't know when I'm walking around and it's small enough and it's rechargeable so I don't have to have a big battery on it. My goodness. There's more stuff guys. It's, it's like insane. These, these I can wear to work. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Where the heck do you find stuff like this? Oh, there's black and blue and so I can wear the black ones to work. Oh my God. My cats must think I'm crazy talking to myself. There's more stuff guys. Has anybody noticed I've been wearing baseball caps a lot lately? Mostly because I live in Las Vegas and I've got, see that, and that, and that, and that, and that, sun damage like you wouldn't believe. So I've been trying to stay out of the sun, <clears throat> but uh, if you've noticed, I've been wearing a lot of baseball caps. They're all black, except for the one red hat I have that's the cat dad one. Look at this, cat dad AF. I will adjust this later, but Cat Dad AF. That is so the case. And it's navy. Which I can wear. I don't have to. Because I do kind of think about what color the hat is. And the clothes I wear. And of course. Consummate cat treats. Um, I was. Uh, it's 107 degrees here. In Las Vegas. I wasn't going to film this until tonight. But I went outside to go to the post office to the airport and it's 107 degrees. I got on the bus, I waited for the bus in the heat and the sun, got to the airport, but I was looking at the news, CNN, I shouldn't have, and I missed my stop. So I had to go all the way to the, the transit center and then all the way back to the airport, get the, uh, and uh, so I was gonna go to Walmart today, why? To pick up some cat treats because I'm not out but my supply is dwindling so um, I don't have to go to Walmart today thank you Tracy and 
Oh my god. I'm, I'm just going to put this in a pile on the floor and Eleanor will have a ball. I'm thinking Claire might join in, but she is not as playful as Eleanor. And what is this? Oh my gosh. I, I never clean my apartment. Things stay in the same spot in my apartment for months on end. You might have noticed in the past, don't, don't look over here because this has like become my drunk drawer, but it's out in the open. Um, but I usually have a full-size cat that a bottle of this cat mist, catnip mist, um, in my apartment because I'll spray it inside a box on paper. I'll spray it on a toy that they really haven't been paying attention to lately. This catnip um, spray by uh, Smarty Cat is amazing. Two of my cats really seem to react to it. Claire, not so much. Eleanor. If you could see her eyes open up as wide as they possibly could. Eleanor, here. Oh, interesting. Claire went over and um, investigated at first. Here, play on it. If I hear you chewing it, it's going. And they do listen to me. Um, Amy, now I've been trying to get this box <laughs> For almost a week. Yep. All right. Yeah, if I hear you chewing, I don't mind them biting. They bite cardboard. Um, Eleanor did it, and now Claire does it. Uh, they bite cardboard. They bite it, they rip off a piece, and they spit it out on the floor. So I have pieces of cardboard all over my apartment now, too. Um, all right. Boy, this, oh, Tracy, I didn't even open your card. Guys, this is already 16 minutes. Some of you like these kinds of videos. Some don't, and that's okay. Um, I'm just, this, I feel like a little boy on Christmas morning opening up a Christmas stocking. Hope your day is easier and brighter. Tracy, this is it. This is officially your last box you're sending me. Because she sent me an Uber gift card. Thank you. I have two of the Uber gift cards. I had some. I received some over the course of the past year, so I will add this to my. Um, if I can add it to my Uber, my app, I wonder if I can. I'm sure I can. Yeah. Um, I know. I've, I, I've done it before. Um, I will add them to my app, and um, I think I'm gonna save it until. October. Uh, well, no. Why not? Why not just use it now? Why would I not use it now? Because I've been I've been taking the bus lately a lot. So, all right. Uh, in many of your videos, you mention awful lighting. Can you hear? Can you, Can you hear? The... I wish I could film that, <clears throat> but then you'd see the real condition of my apartment, and I can't have that happen. Um, that's Claire digging through the paper. Um, uh, I found this to be a help, um, also in this time, I hate to, for you to be on a bus, so the, um, uh, the Uber gift card is to help with that. Um, please know the day I meet you, I'm going to give you the biggest hug, because you've been a bright light in many of my dark days. I love you, Tracy. I really do. Not because you've sent me things like this. This is incredibly thoughtful, but you're just always so sweet and always so thoughtful. Thank you very much. And the card, guys, is so sweet. I do have kitten fever. Um, I do have kitten fever. I can't have one. I can't, can't. Please support me on this. I cannot have a kitten. Um, I can't. Uh, unless someone's going to pay my rent for the next year, um, which is not going to happen either. So I don't even know why I said that. Um, because I can't, I need to, I would need to move into a, a two bedroom apartment if I were to get another cat. Um, now this is a box from Amy. What a lovely card. Today is a good day to have a good day. Can you see that? It's a charming card, it's a lovely card. Hope you and the cats are doing good. Just wanted to say hi, hope your sense of humor is the same as mine, I suspect it is. I wanted to send you some of these things to kill time. You don't have to put this on YouTube. 
too late. I'm putting it on YouTube. Uh, bubble wrap, which I don't think my cats are big enough to actually pop. You know, it's my first thought anytime I, I look at anything. How would my cats like this? Um, oh, good. I definitely don't have to go to Walmart today. Thank you. Um, oh, what was that? Um, I don't think my cats are big enough to pop this, but someone will like to lay on it for a little while. There's, oh, there's a whole bunch of cat treats. I definitely don't have to go to Walmart today. Fistfuls, fistfuls. Um, yeah, I was gonna go to Walmart. After all that that crap, missing my stuff, going to the uh, bus terminal, coming back to the airport, I was gonna go to Walmart after, after all of that, but um, it's too hot. I was outside like melting. Um, and, oh my God, there's so many, ma so many in here and look. Yes, I really do need all these cats. This is gonna go right inside the frame of my window on the ground because I know that my neighbors don't like me and think that I have too many cats. I think that's adorable. Uh, and what is this? Oh, no. I... <laughs> All right, so... Cat butt, you know, because my cats are always showing their asses. I'm like, oh my God. Guys, wait, it's a coloring book of cats in less than delicate positions, frequently showing cat butts. Oh my. This kind of looks like Eleanor. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks, it's like cat porn. It's like, look at this. It's like cat porn. Oh my goodness. So she sent that. Here, Eleanor, this box is probably big enough for you to crawl into. Here, oh, there you go. They're really digging the boxes. So she sent me the coloring book colored pencils and who does this stuff like this and then I could I could pee on this and other poems by cats let's see my life is ruined that was just for you that was just our little joke so we could share a little laugh just the two of us alone. But you took that special moment, you posted it online. Now 40 million people think I bark like a dog. And so I hide under the covers, cursing your very name, saying you better get a good lawyer or a great aid or me a great agent. That's chicken and rice. <laughs> chicken and rice. Chicken and rice for the first day. Chicken and rice on the second day. Chicken and rice for the third day. Chicken and rice on the fourth day. Chicken and rice for the fifth day. Chicken and rice for the sixth day. Lamb and rice today. And just like that, my world crumbles. <laughs> I will giggle while reading that. Um, and uh, that is fantastic. And there'll probably be the um, bits that I will share on Facebook with the one cat group I belong to. Wow. Yes, that was 20, so far 20, almost 24 minutes of me opening packages. All right. So, um, I might, if you see what I, my, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to tuck onto this video to make it worthy of posting, but there you go. I did some box openings. I am super excited. This has just turned into the best day ever, except for my skin. Did, did you stop looking at that yet? Um, all right, so I'm gonna play with the cats for a bit. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. Uh, Claire is half in, half out of a box filled with 
colored tissue paper. She's very happy right now. Um, all right, so I will talk to you guys later. I think I'm going to spray some of that tissue with some of this catnip now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. I don't have to go warm. I'm so excited. I don't have to go outside. It's 107 degrees right now here. All right, I'm going to go play with the cats. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys. I'm still kind of in shock over my boxes here. Uh, Amy, incredibly thoughtful, as always. I just, I just honestly can't believe it. And then, Tracy, you just absolutely killed me with... Uh, the hat kills me, but... Uh, um, I don't know, the socks, the hat. Uh, and this travel kettle was intriguing to me. Just intriguing. So this is it. This is it. The size of my head, my hand. So it's not that big. Um, but, and I'll do a full review on it uh, another time. But I looked at the instructions on how to actually use it. But you just push that. It's silicone. And suddenly, and that's the bottom. So I have a, an electric kettle because I don't have a microwave. I don't want to put a whole kettle on the stove to heat my house up. So when I want tea or something, or if I want to steam some, heat up some lemonade for a medicine ball, because I got some of those tea bags uh, from a subscriber, um, um, I heat that up. But this is like an a electric kettle for travel. Suddenly... I've got a full, and this locks, there you go, kettle, and it has a cord, so I don't have to use that co oh, the coffee maker in a hotel room. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to go on my next trip, because there's just, you know, when you want uh, hot water for tea or to heat up some noodles or something uh, in your hotel room, you kind of have to use the uh, coffee machine, that little teeny individual size cup um, for uh, heating up water and it's just sometimes it's gross because often there's no microwave um, now I can literally I could, I could make I could bring like instant noodles with me on my trip and now use this to heat up water or even make it inside here I could even probably heat up soup and stuff inside here I am so freaking excited about this between this and my Hot Logic Mini and my teeny mix it, <laughs> a whole suite of, like, uh, of uh, utilities in my luggage. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Look at that. So you'll be seeing this for sure on a future trip video when I now have another trip. Um, all right. I am super excited. So now instead of Going outside, getting on a bus, waiting for a bus, going six and a half miles to Walmart, and then doing it all backwards. That takes me about three hours to a round trip Walmart run uh, because I really just needed cat treats. Um, I had four packages left from my grocery store and a couple more in my, my, my uh, drawer for the cats. Now I get to stay home with the cats. Very excited. Uh, and maybe make some lunch. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. Um, I feel totally spoiled. And the cats will too. All right, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So I thought I would show you. <laughs> this is my nightstand, my night table. I opened up all the packages that I got today um, of the squeeze ups and I throw them in my uh, my uh, nightstand drawer and when the drawer opens up the cats all know we're getting treats so about 5 30 in the morning we have treats and we usually have treats about 8 o'clock at night and sometimes if they're very good we have some in the, in the uh, afternoon but I have my store set up that'll last me a couple weeks I'm so excited. All right, so that tissue paper has been a great success. Uh, I think this <laughs> this whole experience has uh, made me think once in a while of going to the dollar store and just buying a, a package of just simple tissue paper. And uh, I sprayed some of that Smarty Cat uh, catnip spray on the paper before I threw it down, after I threw it down. And um, Eleanor especially 
uh, loved it. She had the zoomies for a few minutes, which was a lot of fun to watch. Um, but I think I might just buy some tissue paper once in a while, just as an occasional thing, and throw it on the floor, spray it with some catnip spray, and, and then let them have fun. And then throw it away, because I don't want them chewing on it and swallowing it, because that would be an expensive vet bill. Um, and Buddy, oddly enough, is playing in the tissue, and he's not a very playful cat, so... That has been fun. Um, I just looked at my clips that I took uh, just over the past half hour, 40 minutes, and thought, well, that's a lot of video. So I'm going to put this in together to one little video, little unboxing video, and little shaving surprise video. This will calm down over the next couple days. I wanted to shave um, a few days before June, just in case I was called for a trip. I can have my skin get back to normal and not have to wear a full face of foundation just to go to work. Um, but I'm going to end this video here and thank Amy and Tracy again so much. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm spoiled uh, and it's really nice. <laughs> I, it's a little, I'm a little overwhelmed because it is supremely gen generous, uh, but uh, I just can't get over how thoughtful the two of you are. Um, Amy just always has these, I'm always getting a little box of uh, treats from Amy and Tracy has just historically always been uh, so incredibly thoughtful. I'm just so grateful uh, for you guys and for all of my subscribers. Um, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and my cat's little hearts as well. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Fly safe.